Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Wizardry 8. I'm your host Lord Fenton. In this very special video of Wizardry 8, I'm going to go over the fall lineup plus much more. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more modern and classic games like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell to be updated more. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do something very different. Normally, I should say I do community posts and such. However, I felt like this is a... Uh, something different and it feels like it belongs in a uh, video so uh, anyways uh, that's what this video is all about so while I'm playing wizardry I'm going to talk about the announcements and the games I'm going to put on the uh, channel for the fall also uh, for the rest of the year as uh, well now a uh, real quick wizardry 8 was released on November 15th 2001 this is seer text final game unfortunately However, it's a very fun classic. You get to make your own builds, have a party of six plus two NPCs with you, and a whole bunch of foes to slaughter, maim, and murder. Now, this is the good old game version I have, so if you go to goodoldgames.com, go ahead and purchase Wizardry 8. It's for $9.99 unless you get it on sale, and you got yourself a very nice classic from the early O's. That's about it for uh, this part of this uh, video. Let's go ahead and talk about the first game on the list. The very first topic is Star Wars Outlaw. So I was about to do a full playthrough guides and all that. However, there's other games that definitely caught my eye. And besides, I want to catch up on another game that's next. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this game, however, is when it's out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some shorts. You heard me right. I'm going to just do it like I did Robocop Rogue City. That was fun making shorts. I'm going to do that with Star Wars Outlaws. So it could be anything from some poor stormtrooper dies, someone gets screwed over. If there's a game with evil alignment, oh, I'm going to be making nothing but evil alignment stuff. Now, if there's any bugs and glitches, I'm going to have fun with that as well. So be sure to look out for Star Wars Outlaws and shorts, unless I see something that really catches my eye. So let's go ahead and talk about the next game on the list. Now, next on the list is Ultima 6, The False Prophet. I was supposed to do this earlier this year, however, thanks to two big games, Baldur's Gate 3 and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, yep, I couldn't do it at all. Instead, I'm going to have to do it after Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. So all those guides and builds for now that are done, I'll definitely do not Don't worry, I'll come back to uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 on the builds when it's time once again. I get a nice break. So, yeah, here's the deal about that. I'm going to be transferring my character, you uh, guessed it, everyone, from Ultima 5 you, uh, to uh, 6. You're going to see a full transfer. I'm still going to have fun with that, the cutscenes, if there's any, especially the beginning ones. And uh, last but not least, of course, I should say, is uh, definitely have a good time kicking some serious uh, butt. Plus, uh, check out the story. Things are always not what they seem in the Ultima series, so I'll have to definitely uh, remember uh, that. It'll be exactly like I uh, did with uh, Ultima 5, play it all through. Hopefully, uh, I don't get interrupted this time and uh, stack it with the other games like I did last year with Baldur's Gate 3, though. And uh, that's about it for uh, Ultima 6. I'm going to go ahead and do the next announcement after I level up Wookiee. Yes, I named the uh, moot character Wookiee. He looks like a Wookiee, right? Ser seriously, look at that Wookiee. Still, it's a reference to Star Wars. So let's move on to the next game. Now, next up on the list is going to be, once again, only short form, unless otherwise noted. In other words, community posts or uh, whatnot, even my socials, the Sassacree Shadows. Uh, yeah, this time I am not 100% on the uh, game. Yeah, there's some uh, stuff I did like, some stuff I didn't like hearing. Yeah, like, for example, when you climb to the top, no more panoramic view. I always thought that was great. It was a nice scouting, just like the old Sassacree games and such. Yeah, that was part of a turn-off. I didn't mind the characters, though, because it's a samurai slash ninja era, which is uh, very nice and such. I didn't mind the uh, main uh, characters at all, too. It's just um, not completely sold, so I'm just going with my uh, gut. Once again, it'll be uh, shorts if I uh, find any guides. Like, for example, like I uh, did with uh, the ones to find materials. Yeah, I'll uh, definitely go for that, even if they have it in this game. If not, it'll be uh, shorts at least. So, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the final game on the list. Last but not least on the list is Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Oh yes, I'm uh, playing that now. This time it's going to be uh, different. 
on the platform I'm playing on. I'm playing on actually on Steam. So yeah, I'll be advertising on those videos on there to take advantage of that. Also get people into the Drag Quest series. I was about to do two, most likely after Ultima 6, but yeah, uh, guess what? I heard about this game, so I had to put off those plans. If for some reason I finish it, I should say uh, at the end of this year, yeah, I'll probably uh, slide that in uh, too. We'll uh, see though. If not this year, next year for uh, Dragon Quest 2, the Switch version. Still, I'm going to be uh, showing everybody for uh, this game a full walkthrough. My party members, probably most likely all female, except for my main character. Yeah, there are some very powerful female-only items in the game. Seriously powerful. I'll have to research on uh, that just to be uh, sure. Now, I'll do some class changes. I'm going to have a good time uh, going through the lands. And yes, yeah, some of the lands is like here on Earth, which is uh, pretty uh, cool. So expect that release big time. It's probably going to be my main game when it's in uh, November. So look out for that on the uh, channel. Look out for announcements. When it's out, I'll uh, definitely uh, go ahead and play it. Now, if I could try to get any shorts, I'll uh, definitely uh, do that as uh, well. That's about it for uh, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. I'm going to go ahead and talk about our, the, uh, I should say, the uh, content on the channel still. So what about the original content? Well, they're still going on. Uh, trust me on that end. Now, I will still always have Near Winter Nights Enhanced Edition videos on Fridays and Saturdays. Unless something happens otherwise, then I'll update, of course, the community posts and uh, my socials as uh, well. What about, of course, uh, I should say, Never Winter Night 2 builds? Yeah, I'm still doing those, everyone. Do not worry. They're still uh, going on with uh, that. So expect those builds once a month. Now, for August, it should be a Pellmaster one. That's the next one on the list. Yeah, I'm spoiling it, but you know what? Everybody deserves that at this uh, point to get spoiled on that. Now, what about the King's Quest stuff? Well, if I uh, need time, I'll definitely have some King's Quest uh, videos out. Now, as of this uh, post, uh, next week should be King's Quest 3. It's probably going to be either a two-parter or a uh, three-parter. It's going to give me time, of course, to make some more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 builds. What about Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2? Well, after I do the six uh, main character build playthrough, I'll take a little break, but... If I feel I have enough time between, I say, Ultima 6 and, of course, I should say, uh, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D uh, Remake, yeah, then I'll go for those as uh, well. Anything else on the list that's a normal staple I'll do as well. If I could uh, get that one patch as an evil patch for Baldur's Gate 3, I'll start on the uh, side uh, that Baldur's Gate 3, the evil version, yeah, the uh, Oathbreaker one. Yeah, I call it the D&D uh, &D 5.0 version of the Blackguard. Maybe, maybe not, but still, uh, that'll be probably my last build for the uh, game. Other than that, though, yeah, I'll uh, keep the original content going and uh, more. And yeah, this is my uh, fighter who's a lizard man. Enjoy the look of that uh, lizard man, real ugly. Anyways, that's about it for uh, game announcements. Now, this is it for my 2004 fall lineup and more while I'm playing with Street 8. So, uh, if you want to get this classic, once again, go to goodogames.com. Click on the link in the description, purchase the game, then go on your socials and tell them that Lord Fenton sent you there to buy this wonderful uh, classic. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day or night, and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.